Hi everyone, I'm Adrienne Everhart. I am your dating and relationship coach. I'm a feminine energy expert. One of the things I get you to do is align with your natural feminine energy. And you also have masculine energy, but I get you to align with your feminine energy functioning relationship with a masculine energy man. Now, if everybody can just give me a quick thumbs up, this is a live video, and just let me know that you can hear me and that everything is working as it should be. All right, perfect, perfect. So let's have a real quick recap about feminine masculine energy. Men have both, women have both masculine and feminine energy. Masculine energy is doing action, making things happen, pursuing. You know, the part of you that wants to pick up your phone and text your guy and go, you know, why haven't you asked me out this weekend? That's masculine energy. The part of you that wants to drive past his house at 10 o'clock at night and go knock on his door and see what he's doing, that's masculine energy. The part of you that wants to sit back at a date and just see what he does, kind of not run the date, but show up, be warm, ask good questions, participate, that's feminine energy. You're receiving, you're receiving. Feminine energy is receiving. It's warm, it's listening, it's really, really getting your guy, it's empathizing. It is not action. The part of you that wants to cook him dinner and have the house super clean, masculine energy. So that is a quick recap. It is not about being a doormat. It is not about having a man walk all over you. It is not about sitting on your feelings and faking it. Someone said to me recently, how is this supposed to help us? We're faking who we are. No, you're not faking who you are. You are embracing actually who you really are. And part of this is we're in a masculine mindset world. We're in a masculine mindset world that is changing. It's shifting to feminine, I believe. And part of that shift is you watching this video. Part of that shift is you learning more about feminine energy. It is now awakening your mind and more and more people are following me. More and more people are getting interested in this because they're understanding the power of feminine energy. So what makes us feminine energy, masculine energy? What's the difference? Do you have to be one or the other all the time? No, you're constantly shifting between masculine and feminine, but the key is you're always in your body. You're in your body and you're present and you're aware. So tonight, one of the cool things I get to do with my job is that I can tell you how to get a man to chase you naturally. So let me first say, (laughs) if a man is not interested, He does not find you physically attractive. The things interest him. He's not going to be interested. So this is not a magic charm. It is not work on all men. This is not a dark magic. This is something very natural. But if there is a chance, a thread of a chance of this man being very interested in you and wanting to know more about you, I'm going to tell you how. So I give you something known as the ABCs. And that stands for the absolute best chances. So that's my quick recap about what feminine masculine energy is. If you want to learn more, I have loads of uh, eBooks and self study programs over at my website and they're very affordable. Grab one of those, learn how this all works so you can figure it out a little bit more. Look, it takes a lot of doing to figure this stuff out. It took me a decade. (laughs) So, um, Masculine energy, think of the sperm, it's moving, action, making things happen. Feminine energy is receiving. Think of the egg, the female egg. It sits, it waits, it receives. Okay, so let's get right to work. Let's talk about how you can get a guy to chase you using feminine energy. I cannot wait to share all of these tips and secrets with you all. So the first one is about replenishing who you are as a woman. In a lot of cases, women come to me and they are heartbroken. They are down and out. They feel like they will never have love again and that no man will find them interesting or beautiful or alluring. A lot of my clients are into their 50s and 60s. They think it's just game over for them. I have a lot of clients who have never been married. 
And I have clients that are in the darkest part of heartbreak and they're really missing their partner. So the great thing about being chased and pursued by a man is that it does what? It makes you feel so good. If it's a man you like, if it's a man you don't like, you're kind of like, ew, who's this guy creeping on me, right? <laughs> so this is about embracing all men and treating all men the same. Because that energy is the trick, ladies. I'm telling you, this is the trick to this, is that when you can treat all guys the same, and the pizza guy, Joe, and the CEO, Mark, you treat them like they're the same, and you embrace what they're sending you. This doesn't mean you have to kiss them, date them, sleep with them, marry them, but you're embracing, you're receiving their masculine energy. This is the game changer. This is what tells the universe that, oh, this one is wanting to receive. This woman is ready. She's receiving masculine energy like a pro. She's not playing some game. She's not hiding from some and there for and available for other men. You're available and you're open. So think a little bit about how when you're looking for a job, you put your resume out there. Anybody can come and look at your resume. And if someone sends you a job offer, you're going to read it. You're going to see what it's about because you need a job, right? This is the same sort of philosophy. You're opening up yourself and being receptive. But this all starts with replenishing what you feel like as a woman. So often women, we neglect ourselves. We put the kids first, we put the dog first, we put the cat's bed appointment first, we put our in-laws or, or other family members first. And if you're down here and you don't feel good and you don't feel attractive, loved, held, and like you're in a beautiful environment for yourself, you're not gonna attract the right type of energy that's going to match you and or be greater. So I want you to understand that there is a lot of power in taking a little bit of a rest to get yourself back to feeling good. There's a great movie called How Stella Got Her Groove Back. And that is one way to do it if you've ever seen this movie. But there are a lot of ways to really rejuvenate yourself, make yourself feel like a woman again. One of the things I did after my heartbreak is that I hit the gym hard. I wanted the back of my rear end to look like a peach. <laughs> I wanted to get so fit and feel so muscular and strong. I got the best tan of my life. I got new highlights put in my hair. I went out and bought some inexpensive but really feminine clothes that made me feel good. And as much as I could, I, I got into water, whether I was swimming or going to the hot tub um, at the gym. I got water. Water makes me feel very feminine, like a little mermaid swimming in the sea. So you have to find what makes you feel good and makes you feel rested and rejuvenated as a woman. It might be a spontaneous bike ride. It could be all sorts of fun things, but you have to seek them out. You have to find out what's right for you, okay? This is gonna be like a beacon of light to the universe telling you, telling the universe you are ready to receive. Let's move to the next one. Now, I got my notes out of order, one second. Um, the next one is you really wanna find out what lights you up in this world. What lights you up as a woman and a spiritual being in this physical body? You are here on earth right now. What lights you up? What makes you excited? Music, dancing, volunteering, cooking a fabulous meal, giving, getting your body into great well-being and health, enlightening yourself, uh, learning new subjects, learning a new language. What lights you up? When you're in this dark place, you are not lit up to other men. They're not going to want to chase you. And we want you to feel that wonderful, beautiful, blissful feeling of men noticing you and looking at you. And you know what I'm talking about. It's like you have a switch inside of you. And when you can switch, flip that switch on, 
you'll just be doing all sorts of random things like going to the grocery store with no makeup on and your hair up in a bun and then we'll be hollering at you noticing you i will never forget uh, on a particular uh rebound of being down and out i decided to put on a little bit of lip gloss i put on some victoria's secret body lotion i was feeling a little bit better about myself i went out smelling really good and I met an older friend of mine <laughs> at a cafeteria. And <laughs> it's not like the most glamorous place, right? But two of the men that were serving the food at the cafeteria were, you know, trying to holler to me, which would, believe me, it's starting down here, right? I'm starting with a worker at a cafeteria trying to holler at me. But it meant a lot to me in that moment because I was visible again. I was visible again. I was starting to find what lights me up. What is it in your life and your world that lights you up? This is what that man is going to see in you. He doesn't even know he's seeing it, but he's going to see it. So pay close attention to this one. Okay, so let's talk about meeting men. Um, you, I want you to put yourself into situations where you can meet new men or have interactions with new men whether that's going out to lunch at a place where there's a lot of men, like downtown near the courthouse, or at a sit at the bar at a place, go where there are men, go to bike shops. I have a um, document called 100 Ways to Meet Men. It's actually more than 100. And it talks about all these places you can meet men at. And I'm going to tell you what to do. Don't worry, but we got to get you there. So often women are like, I think we need to, you know, be at home and find ourselves again. You're taking yourself out of the game. I hear you, but you're taking yourself out of the game. I always say it's like going to the, sorry, it's like going to university, you know, in theory, buying all the books, never going to the classes, never meeting your professors, never taking notes, never hearing a lecture. So you have to get out of your house. You have to get out of your comfort zone. Whether it is a trip to a hardware store on a Saturday, you will see lots of men. But in the VIP library, it's in all of my uh, programs that I sell, the VIP library, I have a document about 100 places to meet men. Check it out because here's what I want you to do. The first thing we're going to talk about is taking that leap taking that leap that I'm ready. I'm ready to take the initiative. Now, is that masculine energy? Is it masculine energy letting a man know that you're interested in him or that your vibe is open? Is that masculine? No, it's not. You're a goddess on a pedestal. You're a goddess on the pedestal. You are picking someone out of the crowd and going, I like that one. And you're going to tell him, you're going to let him know in certain ways. Don't worry, I'm going to help you out with that. You're going to let this man know you're interested. But after that, you're going to go back to being you who has this world that lights you up. You who is replenished and feeling very feminine. But it is okay to let a man know you are interested. It is okay if your relationship is stale or stagnant to say, I miss how your arms feel around me. I miss hugging. A hug would feel so lovely right now. It's okay to say this to your husband or your boyfriend. It's okay to let him know how good he looks in his jeans or how thankful you are for something he's doing around the house, how it makes you feel. So at any time, you've got to take that first step. You've got to take this leap and let the man know that what you're doing is pleasing me, either just by being alive and I like you, or there's something you're actually doing that's pleasing me and I like it. And you have to find one sentence, one worded, uh, one sentence way to say this to a man, to let him know I'm feeling something. So ladies, men love to know when we're feeling something in our bodies, when it's good, not when it's bad, when it's good. I want you to remember this one and you know it's true. If a man knows you're feeling pleasure or excitement, it kind of makes him go bonkers a little bit. 
Uh, I remember my husband, he gave me a, this beautiful purse that I wanted and I had no idea I was going to get it. And I was like kind of screaming the first few minutes and he wouldn't stop laughing. He was so uh, happy and thrilled and overjoyed by my happiness. So your happiness kind of becomes their happiness. Don't be afraid of this to share what's in your body. You only have to do it once and either the man's going to pursue you or he's not. You just stay warm and open. So let's talk about the next one. There is a time where you kind of cross the threshold with a man and you cross from being, I'm just a girl walking around this planet to I'm a girl who's interested in you. And, you know, I feel so great hanging out. It would feel lovely to go grab coffee sometime. So you're crossing that threshold to this new place. It's going to make you super duper nervous. But once you let that man know you're interested, he's going to begin to chase you. Once you have all these other things in order, remember we've talked about them already. You have to have these things in order before you do these steps. This is key. This is the important part. You have to know, you have to feel vibrant. You have to feel good about yourself. You have to know what lights you up in this world. If you're in this dark, dark place, and then here's this man and you're like, I'm going to talk to this man for the first time ever. You might feel rejected. You might feel insecure. So this is what I call the jumping off place. The jumping off place is very important. If you're down low, you start a new relationship with a man. It usually doesn't end very well. You want to be up here. You want to be in a good, strong, powerful feeling place as a woman. Okay, so now the last one. Let's talk about it. Men are attracted to women who have this amazing life going on for themselves. Men chase women who are just in love with their life and in love with everything that they're doing with their world. All right. So this is what I call a powerful dynamite woman. A powerful dynamite woman knows who she is. She knows what she likes about life. And here's the big one. She has boundaries. Why are boundaries so attractive to a man? Because you're not saying... Here it is. You get it all. Whatever it is about me you want, I'm down. He doesn't know. It's not that you're playing a game with him, but you're having your boundaries. So I want you all to just think for a second. Go back to a time in your life where you knew a man, maybe a man that you currently love right now, but he's not around you. Think back to the beginning of that relationship. Were you absolutely positively sure that you were really, really in love with him and crazy about him? Was he the one pursuing you more? Or are you pursuing him more? Go back to the beginning. Think about this one. In most cases, the man was actually more confident about you and pursuing you more. And the woman was a little bit uncertain. So a couple of people have said, that they actually, in the beginning, their, their boyfriend or whoever was pursuing them, not the other way around. These are all good things. Exactly. So this is what I'm speaking about. You have to know who you are, what lights you up, what is your deepest calling. I want you to have your life a little more figured out. I often joke about how if a woman loses her job and her girlfriends take her out for a drink or dinner and she meets a guy, she's like, oh my God, I met a guy. It's so amazing. If a guy loses his job, goes out and meets a woman, the last thing he's thinking is I maybe have met my future wife. You see, women, we can kind of start a relationship at any given time. Men cannot. Men will not. They have to have... They have to be able to provide, maintain, and they definitely don't want to compete with you. A woman, we can kind of start a relationship anytime. So this is where so many of you already have your life in order. You already have everything all zipped up with your career. You have great friends, things like this. Wonderful, wonderful. But for those of you who do not, now is your chance to really find out what lights you up, how to nourish yourself, how to heal yourself. You are making yourself so brilliant on the outside so that when that man does see you, he does find you and you know what your deepest calling is in life. You know what it is you love and like in this world. You have something to talk about. You have something to give back.
He's going to get fascinated by you and he is going to chase you. These are all feminine energy qualities that you can use, okay? <laughs> so you can start using them immediately. They do take some practice. They do take some development on your own, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of questions. I love to hear from you all. And I'll just be listening out here. Let's see what we have. Anyone have a question about how to get a guy to chase them, how to get some a guy to a man to pursue them, whether you're married in a relationship or just dating, or maybe you're just single. I would love, love, love to hear from you. So let's see. Um, hi, everyone. So our first question comes in from Erica. She said, I'm 40 and my man is 50. We've been together for three months, so there's 10 years apart. He's starting to, to like me to hold him. He usually falls asleep on me. Is this masculine energy or should I not allow this? You know, for years I had a boyfriend that um, I would go over to his house and we'd hang out on the sofa and he would lay his head in my lap and I was supposed to be the one nurturing him and uh, uh, that's me. <laughs> I'm the one that wants to get petted and loved and I have a husband that is constantly just like rubbing and touching me and, and that is what you want. So if, if he wants you to hold him while you fall asleep, my question to you, Erica, is how does it feel to you? Does it feel kind of like, what am I doing holding on to this guy? I mean, what does it feel like to you? If it doesn't feel good, you're going to have to let him know. Like, you know, I love to cuddle at night. And this feels so sweet and wonderful, but I feel a little strange doing this. I feel a little strange. That's all you have to say. And just let it unfold. So this isn't really about like, I want to get my way. It is often about doing what works. But here's the thing. You have to know the difference between I feel good doing something, I feel bad doing something. This is the powerful feminine energy boundary. This is what will make a man chase you or either he will very quickly show you what he's made of and you can move on to the next guy. All right, moving on to the next question. Um, Crystal wrote to us, hello, Crystal. She said, what should I do if his friends like me? Flirt with them, receive their arrows, receive their arrows, but have a boundary. Have your feminine energy boundary in place. Oh my goodness, I'm so flattered. I feel like I'm being flirted with and this feels wonderful yet, you know, this isn't gonna go anywhere. <laughs> I'm with this person, right? So just have fun with it. I don't know if that's the exact wording you wanna use, but something like that. Um, oh, I love this question. Batul says, if a guy cancels last minute, how do you approach that? If you are just dating, you see if this is a trend. If he does it like the second time, you say, oh my goodness. You know, I, I know we're just dating and we're just getting to know each other, but I notice this keeps happening. Is there something I should know? This is straight out of 500 Ways to Talk to a Man ebook. You can get that at my website, ladies. Let's see here. I gotta scroll up. I love to take these in order. Thank you everyone for all the love. Um, looking for a question, okay. Uh, Ashley says, my husband and I have been together for seven years, married for five, and somewhere down the line, we've forgotten how to communicate. How do I fix this? Am I even able to fix this? Oh, absolutely. You can totally turn this back around. So Ashley, with uh, marriage and relationship, if you've hit this like kind of wall and now you're just maybe bickering or you're maybe not communicating at all, I tell all women to start with just two weeks of only talk about things that are positive. Only speak of what is positive for two weeks straight. Okay, start there. Now I have a program called FEM for Marriage and Relationships. That's gonna give you a lot more information, but it's a powerful thing with your guy if just for two weeks you peel your energy off of him 
and don't be the first one to text him. Don't do things. Don't do things to get love from him. Like message him and say, hey, honey, I'm just thinking about you. That is not going to get you love. Now, there's a time and place for that, ladies. So, so this isn't a end all, you know, be all with messaging. But if you want to hit restart with your husband, peel your energy off of him. Give him space. Give him his own space and his own place. No complaints for two weeks. Notice what's happening with you. Do you still have a life outside of the marriage and relationship? Are you still doing things that light you up? The things that we were talking about. Um, are you answering your deepest callings in life? Are you feeling good about yourself as a woman? Uh, how are you, do you feel rested? Do you feel replenished in your feminine energy? If not, just take two weeks and do this. Take much longer if you can, but definitely two weeks, no complaints. Start there. Look him in the eyes when he speaks to you. Nod and listen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, but I want to say this thing. Just let him talk until he's completed his sentence. And then count to eight and see if he has more to say. He's going to start feeling like a man again. When he starts feeling like a man again and gets activated in his masculine energy again, it's going to start to heal itself. The energies are going to start to balance out in the relationship. It'll fix your communication problems. All right, so I'm starting to lose my voice. I will take one more question. Thank you again for all the praise, everyone. Ashley, um, let's look for another question here. Everything just zipped up all of a sudden with my, um, let's see here. If your guy tells you to stop flirting, say, okay. And you're maybe doing it too obvious. You're maybe kind of doing it a little too extreme. Susan asked that. Susanna asked that. Um, okay, here's another question. Should I hold off dating until my career is sorted out? Also, if I'm dating multiple men, what should I let? Should I let them know I'm dating others? Oh my goodness, Marie Don. Maria Don, that is a great question. Should I hold off on dating until my career is sorted out? And if I'm dating multiple men, what should I, should I tell them that I'm dating others? If they ask, you can let them know, well, yeah, you know, I'm meeting, I'm, I want to be a wife one day and I, I really, I want to get married. I want to meet the man that I'm meant to be with. So yeah, I'm dating. And if he goes, no, I want you to be with only me. Go, oh my goodness, I'm flattered. Well, what does that mean? What does that mean for us? Where do you see us going? Ask that question and just listen to him. You have to agree. He might say, uh-uh, uh-uh, you're dating other guys. No way, no how. I'm done. I'm out the door. And you go, oh, my God, I'm going to miss you so much. I will miss you. And I just, I want to be a wife. And I don't know where we're going. And I just want to keep my options open. Now, with that said, if you have met a man and he is a good guy and you're feeling like he could turn into a husband, and he's showing up, showing up on time for dates. He's there for you. He's bringing you soup when you're sick. And he's a great guy. Give it three months of totally being committed to him. And just tell him, say, well, okay, we well, you know I'm, I'm curious to see where we go. And yeah, okay, I'll do this. Don't say I'm going to do this for three months. You got three months to get it right with me or I'm out. Don't do that. Just say, well, okay, you mark it on your calendar so you don't turn into one of these women who contact me and say, hey, Adrian, I've been dating my guy for five years and he keeps talking about marrying me. I don't want you to turn into that girl. I want you to have it, you know, take it about in three month chunks at a time and date him exclusively, especially my women who are over 40. And I, I, I don't think it's going to hurt anything to... Just take it three months at a time with a man. Date him exclusively. At the end of three months, you check back in and go, oh my goodness, it's felt so amazing. We've been together, you know, for a while now. And where do you see us going? All of this is in 500 Ways to Talk to a Man ebook, as well as Fem Tools 
and also New Man Manifesto, it is my lengthiest program. There is so much in that program and there are worksheets. If you really want to learn it all, uh, get them, get the FEM that you feel closest to and a New Man Manifesto. That will be the best for you. Okay. All right. So we'll take one more question. Oh, and should you wait to get your career in place? No. In fact, I believe how you do one thing is how you do everything. If you can get a relationship going for you, your career will take off. Everything will take off in your life because how you do one thing is how you do everything. When you can get your love and your relationship sector worked out, things will begin to unfold for you magically. All right. So let's go to the next question. Oh, my goodness. So this last one I'm going to take. I am not a fan of long distance relationships. Not at all. I am not the coach you want to talk to about long distance relationships because I think they are the biggest way to jip a woman of things that make you feel good. And we get so caught up in uh, getting addicted to the texting and the messaging and the stimulus that comes through when our partner partner finally calls us or messages us. And it feels like the greatest drug in the world because we're starving in between. So uh, Nicole has asked, I'm in what, what feels like a long distance relationship with a really sweet guy. I don't know what that means. It feels like I hear from him every day by phone or text. How can I move this forward? Here's my best advice for you. Tell him, I feel like a text buddy. I feel like we're just texting or talking and I want a regular dating relationship. So I'm going to be moving on. You're amazing. This has felt so wonderful connecting with you over texts and phone calls. And oh my goodness, I feel like you know everything about me. But I'm going to be moving on because I want a regular dating relationship. And then give him a little time to turn it around and, and see if he can date you on a regular basis. If you're in a long distance relationship, the two of you have to move to the same city be nearby so you can date regularly. That is my final word on long distance relationships. I think they really rob us of a lot of happiness and can cost us years of our lives by investing in someone that's not even local. Proximity is the number one thing to attraction and building a relationship. You have to be near each other. Proximity has to happen. They have to be within your eyesight, you see. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight for this live video. Please give this video a thumbs up if I have helped you with some really positive do-it-yourself feminine energy techniques that will have a man chasing you. He will feel so captivated in your energy because he will not see you as someone who doesn't have her life put together, but as this beautiful creature, this beautiful feminine energy woman who has her life well put together. You know who you are. You know your boundaries. You know what lights you up. You are not down here in the dumps. You're feeling good about yourself as a woman. So take a moment to review this video. Do the work that's required. It may take you some time. And please do keep on dating. Keep leaning back. Keep practicing your feminine energy with every man you meet. Now, if you need more help, then you can get in my YouTube videos. You can take a class of mine. I have classes available on my website. You can study from home. You can learn this material. It takes a lot of going over back and forth again. Don't worry about that. You're not alone to really get it and practice it. And of course, join my free Facebook group over at I Heart Love Academy. All right, beautiful women. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I'm so honored to be part of your life. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments section and write to me anytime. Much love. Bye-bye.